Week 13 of the NFL season has wrapped up, and with that comes a heating up playoff race like no other. We've got teams trying to squeak in at that seven seed, and other teams trying to lock up the one seed in their conference, get that coveted bye week, right? So I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to rank every single team based on how likely they are to make the playoffs or potentially get that one seed. Let's just jump right in. We've got six tiers today. One seed. Okay, that seems pretty self-explanatory. Then we've got lock. Okay, these guys... They're locked to make the playoffs, obviously. Then a little bit below that is like the disappointed if they miss, but they're not like a lock, you know? They should get in, but they could miss, and then I would be disappointed because that opinion matters. Then we've got the could meander in. These guys, you know, they're kind of lurking right around that bubble area, and they they could find a way to get in there. And we've got the, we're going to need a miracle here. And lastly, playoffs? Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs unlikely so first off let's start with the mathematically eliminated see a panthers you had a good season look forward to next year unfortunately bryce young has yet to turn the franchise around doesn't mean that he's a bust necessarily but they're gonna need a lot of things to go their way if they want a playoff run next year you know good draft picks ball bounces their way viking style things of that nature next not technically mathematically eliminated but I don't know how they aren't, honestly. Uh, Patriots, sorry guys. Uh, it pains me to put them in here, but I actually, you know what? No, it doesn't. I kind of want them to end up two and 15. We want that two pick in the draft at this point. Obviously, we don't have what we need to be a successful team. I'm okay putting them here. That's where they belong, but I am okay putting them there. Next up, I was gonna go ahead and put a couple one seeds in there, but I don't think I will. I don't think I will. I don't know if we have a team that is a guaranteed one seed so much so that I could put them in there at the beginning of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Cardinals, work my way to the right okay cardinals um i'm thinking these guys are also in the playoffs category if they were somehow to pull off a miracle they would have so little to do in the playoffs it would be a total beatdown. i don't think they even deserve the miracle category now we have the falcons and the falcons are weird for one reason alone they are in the nfc south this division is just so abysmal that they could get in with a nine win record an eight win record even i don't know what's going to happen but i'm gonna put them in the could meander in you know what actually you know what okay there we go i went ahead and put them in their own category because i don't know what's gonna happen there i don't I don't even know if they know all right so the ravens are going to be fighting for that one seed for sure and honestly they're my pick to get the one seed in the afc so to me that's an easy pick throw them up there best defense in the league in my opinion we've seen the browns crumble in the last few weeks lamar's lamar throwing dimes all around you got odell gus edwards is a dog i'm looking for the ravens to get that one seed bills okay these guys are somehow in the could meander in category not really sure just how that happened but they're six and six right now so they're gonna need a you know a couple things to go their way for sure bears my mistake guys definitely should have put the bears in the playoffs situation here uh that one feels like it has to be there i don't know i'm looking at it and it just feels like it has to be there they felt lost from the start all right the Bengals. the Bengals. i counted out when joe burrow got hurt browning comes in and wins the game for them over the jags on monday night football yesterday and uh I'm not going to lie. That was extremely impressive. So I will no longer put them in that kind of counting them out category. I am going to put them in the would need a miracle because they do. The AFC is relatively tough. And as for their division, I put the Ravens at the top. They're going to need a couple things to go their way for sure. But I definitely think they could find their way into the playoffs somehow. Now the Browns, I think the Browns could easily meander in. Okay. I do think that they are a playoff caliber team. They're without their starting quarterback, which is a major major issue in the nfl obviously quarterback driven league but i do think their defense could you know it, it's i think they're a pretty decent team overall now cowboys they're a lock okay no one's messing with them are they potentially just beating up on bad teams yes but look at the nfc i mean they're gonna get in the broncos okay this one i'm gonna put them in the meander in category as well because they or in the AFC West, which is tough. Actually, I'm going to put them in the disappointed if they miss category. This seems way too high for me, but they went on that five game win streak. They looked really, really good, beat a couple of really good teams. So I'm going to set their expectations a little bit high and they're going to have to live with that. I know that they are really tuned into these videos. Speaking of these videos, how are you on the loading screen again? Because I fucking got 98. <laughs> I 
landed and I got fucking murdered. If you like the Fortnite in the background, something new or trying it out, check out my community tab and vote on whether or not you like it there so I know whether or not we need to make Alex play Fortnite because I know he absolutely hates it. He can't stand the new Fortnite update, which... That makes two of us. All right, the Lions. This one's a lock, pretty straightforward. They've basically got the NFC North locked up. I don't feel too bad about putting them in the lock category. Now, Packers, also in that NFC North. I'm putting them in the disappointed if they miss. Uh, they beat the Chiefs, and they did it in a fashion that made me feel like they are a solid team. Aaron Jones is hurt, or day to day or whatever he's going got going on i traded him away from my fantasy team personally but i do feel like the packers have enough rolling in a weakish nfc i think they could they could easily get in and honestly i'm gonna be a little sad if they don't texans this one i uh because of the afc being what it is i would put them in the meandering category right but they are in the AFC South. when you think about football you think about the south right georgia alabama florida all of these states in the NFL, the Southern divisions are not known for their great football play, at least as of late. So due to that, the Texans could easily win their division, which is surprising. Rookie quarterback, brand new head coach, right? Tank Dell getting injured makes me a little bit nervous, but I'm still going to be disappointed if they miss. Colts, I'm going to put them in the meander in here. I think they could almost be in the disappointed if they miss, but nobody had any expectations for them coming into the season. So I'm going to keep them in the meander in category. Although I do feel pretty strongly that it's very, very possible for them to sneak in. Now the Jags, I would have had the Jags over the Texans before their loss to the Bengals on Monday night. And when you factor in Trevor Lawrence's high ankle sprain, things aren't looking any better. So I'm going to sneak these guys into the meander in category just because of their quarterback situation. It's still the AFC South, so not a lot going on. Chiefs, lock, right? We know that. The Chargers, I think they're going to need a miracle. I do. I don't feel very confident about what they've got going on there. Maybe if they were to fire Staley a couple weeks ago, but beating the Patriots 6-0, to zero, I mean... Bolt Nation, how are we feeling about that? Okay, LA Rams. All right, so the Rams, I'm not exactly sure where they sit in the standings. They are behind the Seahawks and the 49ers in their own division. I don't feel great about putting them in the meandering category. I'm going to slip them into the miracle category. Going to need a few losses. Obviously, they're not going to get their division title. If they win out and everyone else loses, they could get in. Raiders, definitely going to need a miracle here. Had a glimmer of hope at some point in the season, right after firing McDaniels. I was like, oh, hey. Who knows? Uh, yeah, things have since gone south, I feel like. At least the mojo isn't there. Dolphins, lock. Vikings. I think everyone can agree they were on the pastronaut train, okay? And if you're not, you're lying. Then things kind of changed. I'm going to put them in the miracle category. I just don't feel that confident in the Vikings. Maybe Justin Jefferson coming back can change things and they'll switch into the meander in category. We've already got the Lions and potentially the Packers sneaking in there. Three from the NFC North would be a bit of a stretch. And we have another NFC South team. Giants playoffs? I mean, bro, what is this? Come on. I'm sorry, but this Danny DeVito is playing better quarterback for them. I don't, it's just not impossible, but the, it's just wrong. Putting Giants and playoffs in the same sentence right now feels wrong. I'm sorry. New York Jets. Uh, this is a sad one. It really is. Aaron Rodgers looks like he could technically make it back in time, but they're going to lose the rest of their games this year. Why would he come back? It feels like playoffs kind of territory here, but I just, their defense is too good. Put them in the miracle category. I really do apologize to all Jets fans out there. Eagles. Okay, this is our, our NFC pivotal point here, if you will. Do the Eagles get the one seed or do the 49ers get the one seed? I am from Iowa State. Unfortunately, have a bit too strong of a connection to Brock Purdy. I saw what they did to the Eagles. It's not that the Eagles can't win out, obviously, but they do have to play the Cowboys, so that'll be a test for both teams. I'm going to put them in the lock, and subsequently doing that, I'm going to put the 49ers at the one seed. I know Eagles fans are going to be upset with me, but I'm sorry. You can't get spanked that bad by the 49ers and expect to just earn the one seed over them, in my book, at least. Steelers. I'm putting them in the meander category here, and here is why the Browns do not have a starting quarterback. Kenny Pickett is injured. I don't know what's happening there, but both of those teams are kind of in the same spot. I think they're going to be reaching for that six, seven seed. I don't know for sure who's going to win what games, but I think they're both capable. The Seahawks. This one, I would be disappointed if the Seahawks miss. It feels weird to say that another NFC South team, the Titans being in the AFC South just allows you to potentially be in the conversation of the playoffs here. I don't think they're a playoff caliber team, but I do think Things go their way. You know, Trevor Lawrence is hurt, right? 
maybe CJ Stroud's rookie starts to show. Oh, well, Will Levis is technically a rookie as well, but maybe his rookie shimmer starts to appear at the end of the year or something. I don't know. I'm just saying it's definitely possible. It feels like it's going to need to be a miracle that gets him in. And last but not least, burst poop pipes over here. Senor Commanders, I'm sorry. You're not winning your division and you're definitely not good enough to get the seven seed. Commanders fans, you're going to have to wait till next year. All right, that's all I got. That's all 32 teams. Let me know in the comments, is your team potentially going to make the playoffs? Do you agree with my rankings? Do you like the Fortnite in the background? Vote for it on my community tab. It'll be up all week. With that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.